Hey guys. Um, you know, there was a time uh, back on the uh, on the forum that we were looking for ways to uh, strip silver plate um, safely uh, and um, do it efficiently. Well, I've stumbled upon something that I think I'm going to share with you now. Um, just out of curiosity and for nothing better to do, <clears throat> I, I was using the style sulfate solution to strip pins. And I was just wondering what it would do to a uh, silver plate. And even though the process is basically the same for stripping silver uh, with the thiol sulfate solution, I found that adding just a little electricity kind of juiced things up. So what I've done is I've set up just a real small little cell type thing going on here. Um, I've got a piece of this silver coated uh, copper wire. And I'm, I'm using a piece actually back here um, for the uh, for the cathode, and uh, I've already run a couple of pieces through here. Well, actually, I've ran several dozen pieces through it last night, just playing around to see, you know, if, what it would do. Um, but you can see up the top the silver's still there, but down here this wire it's rolled up you can see that there's uh, just very little silver remaining the rest of that is red copper so it stripped the silver off of it pretty quick and uh, I'm gonna strip this one little piece right quick and, and you'll see what I'm talking about and uh, this doesn't really give off any fumes anything I can smell but uh, let's dip this in here and see what happens Now this is a phone charger, so it's dealing in milliamps at just a few volts. Now you can't really see, I don't think, you see those small bubbles coming up from uh, uh, from the cathode side. And uh, it's taking the silver off pretty quickly. Now the silver is precipitated out. This solution will turn clear as water. And uh, the, the silver precipitate out to the bottom, I think it's precipitating out is uh, silver, silver sulfate. Uh, that's easy enough to deal with when you melt it. You just use some steel in it and uh, it'll take the sulfur out. But it's it's it it's taking the silver. It looks kind of black, but I can see the brown through through it. I can see the copper coming through in spots. And uh, and this is wire. I mean, it's wound up tight. It's it's got a lot of surface area, but. Um, there's a lot of places in there that the the uh, because of the flow of electrons it shouldn't be stripping right into the middle of that wire but it's doing a pretty good job of it and uh, I mean it was really surprising to me that it just stripped that silver right off of there like it just it really wasn't a problem with it it just stripped it right off and uh, I think the I think the silver is gone off of that. Yeah, you can see the copper. Now keep in mind that this is um, thiol sulfate, and it's supposed to be non-toxic. So you can see the copper 
really well and it took the silver right off right down to the copper all right and here's And here's the piece that I was using for the cathode. Now, that black is silver that came off the other piece. I can wipe this off, and it'll still be silver underneath that black. So that's just black powder that's collected up on that. And I can wash that off. Now the solution is beginning to clear already. The solution is beginning to clear already and the silver um, just settles to the bottom as solids. that's the way the silver comes off it comes off in solids it it strips off the piece and then it precipitates back out as a solid and all this this liquid will clear up it'll it'll look like water and the silver will settle down and settle into the bottom of it and when tomorrow gets here this is snowing like a devil out here right now when tomorrow gets here, I'm going to um, take this sulfate solution, I mean the thiol sulfate off, and get the uh, silver out of the bottom and see if I can't do something with it to make it um, look more like silver. But right now it looks like black powder. <laughs>